<laughs> I guess I had more champagne than I thought. Oh, nonsense, my dear. Only a few lucky sips made their way past your lips and down your throat. Not to fret, we'll have more bubbly in my room. Oh, no. Thank you, Mr. Crane. I am only going into your room so we can talk in a quiet place about you taking Ethan back into the family. Well, fair warning, your lips have their work cut out for them this evening. <laughs> oh, no, I don't care, because I am not leaving your room until I've convinced you that adopting Ethan is the only fair and right thing to do. Well, we can stay in my room together all night long if that's what you oh. want. That's exactly what <laughs> I want. <laughs> mm. Sorry, my dear, another bloody business call. Very bloody, in fact. Oh, I understand, Mr. Crane. Like I said before, you have many, many responsibilities. Yeah. And oh, if you take Ethan back as your son, well, he could help you like he used to. Oh, that's definitely food for thought. Hmm. Speaking of food, I forgot to ask that caviar be sent up to my room along with the champagne. I'll be back too sweet, my sweet. <clears throat> Lucy! I'm home! Open the door! You got a lot of explaining to do! Mr. Crane, I didn't know you could be so funny! Well, I'm happy that I can tickle your fancy idea. Hey, hold it down out there! People are trying to sleep! Shh! If you continue to cause a scene, I'll have you arrested. Tell me, have you ever been handcuffed and strip searched before? No! Never! First time for everything. <clears throat> Let's just go into the room so we don't get into trouble. Oh, we won't get into trouble. I own this place, remember? We can do whatever we like, as loudly as we like, without fear of reprisal. Where is that key? <laughs> you know that is it. <laughs> oh, here we are, dear. The key to paradise. Paradise? Yes, I mean, you will be in heaven if uh, I adopt Ethan, won't you? After you, my dear. The view from here is tremendous. So, uh, oh. enjoyed our talk tonight. Uh -huh. You're definitely getting closer to having me in your corner. Well, what else can I do to sway you? Well, for starters. <laughs> Who the hell? Don't you excuse me. <clears throat> you. Oh. Uh, who is that? Uh, that. Was room service? They sent up more champagne. <laughs> oh no, caviar! Uh, uh, caviar? Uh huh. What? Oh, they must have forgotten. Oh well, bottoms up. Oh no, thank you. I've already had too much. Oh no, just one oh, more yes. glass. You are getting so close to convincing me to take Ethan back as my son. I'm so, so very, very close. I can almost taste your sweet success. Oh, all right, Mr. Crane. <sighs> Call me Julian. Uh, all right, <laughs> Julian. But I am not having any more champagne until you promise me you'll adopt Ethan. You are a feisty one, Teresa, and I love feisty. <laughs> I'm determined. That's all. I want something, and I want you to give it to me. Well, 
I guess we have a lot in common then. <laughs> <laughs> you to take Ethan back into the family, Mr. Julian Crane. Well, you're certainly getting to me, Miss Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald, but, mm. and it's a firm but, I haven't said I'd take Ethan back yet. Well, then I am not leaving until you agree to. I'll stay here all night if I have to. I'm sure we can come together in a way that satisfies us both. <laughs>